This is French Can Can, and I think that is its French title as well. Um, it is a film directed by Jean Renoir, who of course was the son of the great painter, and it relates to my previous choice, The Seventh Seal, in that I also saw this during my national service. It's one of the very few subtitled films that ever achieved a circuit release in this country as part of a double bill, and I, then a, a new soldier in, um, in, in early 1956, uh, found that it was playing in the local cinema and went as soon as I could and then thought I must go again. And so on the Saturday I went so that I saw French Can Can and then the supporting program, which was also a good film actually, uh, and then saw French Can Can Round again because this was the days of continuous performances. So I saw it three times in one week and I found new riches in it every time. Um, it is an interesting film, uh, and, and it, it, Renoir was by this time a very well established director, and uh, he had had difficulty in getting films made after his return from Hollywood at the end of the war. Uh, the surprising thing is that he was actually not the first choice of director. Uh, I think it was one of the Allegre brothers, probably Eve. Uh, who was originally going to do it, but then presumably got involved in something else, and uh, so uh, Renoir took over. It was also the opportunity for him to re-establish his relationship with his long-standing uh, leading man, uh, Jean Gabin. Uh, I believe there had been some sort of friction between them because Renoir had been in California during the war, whereas I think Gabin uh, continued to work for the, uh, the Free French uh, out of uh, North Africa. And, and I, I understand that there was some uh, friction between, but anyway, it was resolved, and Gabin gives uh, a performance you can't think of anybody else in the part. It's a story about uh, a man who is essentially uh, a provider of entertainment, an artist, uh, for other people uh, and about his relationships with various women uh, and saying that uh, he cannot remain faithful to one woman because his creative instincts take him to move on every time. Which maybe, I don't know anything about Renoir's private life, it may be his own credo, it may not be, it, but it, it certainly sounds very convincing um, and of course uh, this film ends with the Can Can, um, and it's true to the Renoir style of composition and uh, uh, pictorial vigour. Uh, I think it's a lovely film. I find every moment of it uh, full of interest and understanding, and I just hope that uh, you're going to enjoy it as much as I have done.